another hand-sized masterpiece from the uh, the mines, well, the Tenkefungarumu mine in the uh, copper mines of the Congo. We have a matrix of a dolomite, a pretty young dolomite, sitting on top of that would be rather large quartz crystals. Uh, uh, large in terms of association to cobalt and calcite. Often we have a thin layer of druzy quartz crystals, whereas here you can see, I'll just move it on the reflection there, you can for instance see the, the largest quartz crystal sitting on there, one running across there. Little bit of contact on this piece over here, on the edges, yet the fruity section, quite appealing, is, is this. So I display it like this. Now let's have a closer look at these calcite crystals. They are baby pink, as you'd have the bla baby blue. This would be the pink version of that. So the, they are not the electric uh, uh, sharp pink. Ah, look there, there's an inclusion of the little uh, uh, cobalt and calcite inside the quartz it appears. Or is it, no, it's actually sitting on the outside. I thought it was inside for a minute. Uh, from a display point of view, I'd have it uh, going on a turntable, going around like this. So I'd enjoy it most looking from the top down. And this is the effect you'd have. Or maybe standing it up at this particular angle where you've almost got this triangular formation in the, in the holding matrix. Now let's go a little bit closer again to see if we can, we can actually determine. And those little calcite crystals would be uh, see-through with strong lighting. Um, they are sort of a, a, a matte to shiny pink, um, but the edges would be see-through, so they are gem.